hello guys and welcome back to my youtube channel today we have this techno device okay and a technician sent this phone over to my shop and told me he wants me to help him troubleshoot the phone and he wants to know the problem of this phone okay guys make sure you watch this video to the end because it's, i'm going to elaborate i'm going to teach you guys step by step in which you can troubleshoot a dead phone like this okay so now let's examine the problem together okay i'm going to insert the, the the charger into this phone and i want you to see what is happening okay as i insert the charger let me adjust the charger there's a light blinking on top okay it's showing a charging light indicator that a charger has been plugged but there is no sign of charging at all that is the problem of this phone and the phone is not switching on so let me show you from my charger meter and see if it has any consumption okay from the charger meter you can see from that port is showing 0.0, .0 amps it's not consuming any amps okay and sometimes it shows 0.6 and it fluctuates 0.4 0.6 thereabouts so now let's connect the phone to a dc power supply and get a reading also from the dc power supply guys make sure you pay attention okay this is my dc power supply the current is on 4.5 volts and the um sorry the voltage is on 4.5 volts and the current is on three amps okay i'm going to bridge the the power button and i want you to pay attention to the readings on the dc power supply as you can see once i press the power key it behaves like it wants to start up the phone but it drops down okay so that is the behavior of this phone but with this reading i already know with this reading from my dc power supply what the problem of this phone what the problem is okay i already know but i want to walk you guys through how to troubleshoot this step by step okay if you have this type of phone how would you troubleshoot the phone uh step by step okay so pay attention let's go the first thing we are going to put our multimeter on diode or continuity mode red probe on ground and black probe to take reading first taking reading from the vbat positive and negative are both reading properly as you can see they are reading properly okay i'm going to remove the pcb from the from the casing from the chassis of the of the phone i'm going to remove the pcb now and i'm going to do a physical inspection but i have to remove this uh, shield first and the shield is out all right so what we are going to do is put our multimeter on diode mode uh like earlier and we are going to take readings of all these components around here we want to see if there is any shorting component all right from the back side as well need to take readings okay you need to take readings of all the components on the pcb with our multimeter all right so you put your red probe on ground and use your black probe to take readings if you don't know how to take readings of this component i have made a video on my channel on how to use a multimeter okay how to use a multimeter okay so go check it out all right guys we are going to touch both sides of each component to check for short so i'm going to fast forward this video and check all the components okay i'm checking for shorted components with my multimeter so we can know which component is shorting or which component is causing this pcb not to switch on okay so guys pay attention i'm taking readings on the vbat line as well okay i'm from the back side as well i've removed the shields okay testing all the components and i found out that no component is shorted no component is shorted okay the capacitors the the diodes every component right on this pcb is fine so what can be the problem we have various methods that we can use to determine or to check where the problem is on this phone okay guys we have different methods and i'm going to be taking you through each method okay that i use to troubleshoot this device i'm holding right here guys don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe the first thing is to use your fingers to feel the eating components all right but i'm going to show you how to do that 
first we need to plug in the charger okay we plug in the charger we are injecting votes like you are injecting voltage virtually okay or indirectly so you, you you fill it with your finger and you have to be very careful because some components might be very very hot okay all right might be very very hot. so you have to be careful while touching and right here i noticed that this power ic is eating up this power ic is eating up guys this power ic is eating up all right i can feel it from my fingers so all right the second method is the use of alcohol okay we are going to spread alcohol on this eating area okay so we want to know if that power ic is really eating up or not so the the component that quickly dries up the alcohol is the bad component is the bad component as you can see the power ic drains out the alcohol okay and the cpu uh, the emmc right on top right there is still having alcohol as you can see right there but the power ic has eaten up the alcohol so the third method is using roasting flux if you want to know how to use roasting flux i have made a video in my youtube channel go and check through my videos you check you you see them number four is using tama camera okay tama camera is one of the best tool you can use to detect eating spot on a pcb or shorted component okay tama camera will fish out even the 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 component that you don't even know is having shots okay so now let's inside the timer camera and as you can see we have two eating components right there two eating components right on this pcb okay let me get off this reflection of this bulb right there okay guys just pay attention those eating spots it means those ic's are shorter remember the power ic was from the right side of this pcb and the left side there is a component that is also eating up right there okay i'm going to show you guys that component in a few minutes the power ic is also eating up so now let's check that component that is eating up and let's take it out because there are some component that might be eating up the power ic it might be a capacitor it might be diode it might be resistor but as you can see this component is also eating up let's remove it and let's see if the power ic will be fine okay so let's remove this component this component looks like diode something like that a protective component and that component is out is somewhere here you see that component is there but remember earlier when i was feeling with my fingers i can't even sense that the component is eating up but as you can see it's eating up i have taken out the components okay this is the component uh, within uh in, in my tweezer and it's out so we are going to put the pcb back into the into the casing and we are going to switch on our tama camera again to see if the power ic is also still eating up okay guys now let's go the tama camera is on now the tama camera is on okay and the power ic is still eating up the power ic should not eat up that means this power ic is also bad and the other component right down is no more eating up you see we have only one eating spot now which is the power ic that means there is a short inside this power ic component okay there is a short right there and as you can see from that uh that component will remove from there is no more i mean that area is no more eating up so the shot from there is out that's partial shot and the power ic i think is also having uh half, half shot okay so guys what you need to do now is to replace this power ic and that component that we removed all right we can get this from donor board or a brand new one thank you so much for watching my video See you in my next video. Peace.